thanks for tuning in to Monique St. Pierre Fitness. Today we are going to be going over a cooking tutorial in our jammies and our sweats. So this is basically a very easy prep meal. So kick back, relax, come and join me on this video as I teach y'all how to make lean ground turkey stuffed lettuce wraps with some of my favorite veggies. All right guys? Let's get this party going. All right guys, so grab your groceries. You're going to need some tomatoes, lettuce, feta cheese, onion, mushrooms, garlic cloves, and ground turkey. Next, you'll just need to get one fourth of an onion. Here, I'm just gonna chop it up into nice little small particles. Don't knock my chopping skills, I get the job done. So all in all, that's gonna be about a half a cup of onion. Next, go ahead and grab your feta cheese. I get the fat free. You're just gonna scoop this out to about one ounce of fat free feta cheese and then set this aside as well. One ounce, baby. Okay, next you're gonna grab your mushrooms, chop those suckers up all graceful like. Ta-da, one cup of chopped mushrooms. Mmm, delish. Next, you need one, two, three garlic cloves. And here's a special trick my mom taught me. Bam! Just push all of your weight down into that knife. It's going to break apart that clove so you can get out the meat on the inside. There you go, and just chop that up. Place it in a cup off to the side and hold for later. Then this is the ground turkey from the chili I taught y'all last week. It's left over, so no time for it. So since we already had the sweet turkey from whenever we made the chili earlier in the week, all you gotta do is pop that sucker in the microwave. You've already saved your time there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna guesstimate, so put this in here for about minute, kind of just depends on how you like your food and what temperature you like it. And then at this point, I'm gonna start sauteing all the veggies that are also gonna go inside the lettuce wraps. So next for the saute, we're gonna be putting in our cup of chopped up mushrooms, half a cup of onions, our three garlic cloves, and then set off your one ounce of feta cheese for this side for later use. So I'm gonna put my oven on just, you know, a nice medium heat so we can get a good saute. Saute is gonna take the longest. I already sprayed it down with some EVOO. Now add your onions, mushrooms, garlic, and stir it up, baby. But now at this point, I'm kind of just messing around. I'm gonna stir up all the melody real nice and I'm gonna get a good mixture going on. Get the spray of sprayed and kind of mixed up in the mushrooms and the onions so it cooks more evenly. And then if you want to, you can add a few more spices here. I kind of like the natural spices of all the onions and the garlic and the mushrooms that it brings out, so I don't really add anything else with this recipe. So just kind of let it saute. This is probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes or until it comes to a consistency that you enjoy. So, you know, put on your music, dance away in the kitchen, and get that going, guys. Once your saute has a nice consistency, you can set that aside. We're ready to go. All that color, get you some. <laughs> so, I usually just get some at the beginning of the week, throw them all in a bowl, and leave them in my fridge so I can easily come by and snack on. If I want to, minerals just to me, if you don't like cherry tomatoes, don't knock it. Excuse me. Until you try the sunburst tomatoes, okay? These are a little sweeter. Really good, too. So, what I'm going to do, you'll see I tend to put tomatoes in everything. I love it. My husband hates them, so his dish never gets done. That's fine. It's more for me. As I just cut them up so they fit easier in those tiny lettuce wraps. So, just chop up the tomatoes into small particles. Then you can just take the diced tomatoes and lay them out nicely in your lettuce wraps. I love the color this brings out. More color, more nutrition. Feta cheese, just to kind of let it melt. That's the consistency I like. You just want to sprinkle the feta on top. I think 
end of your lettuce wrap, so that's awesome too. And then, I'm going to get that turkey out. You can do this separate too, if you kind of don't like to mix your food and sprinkle layer like by layer, but I just make it easy. So, oh, and it goes, it smells so good. So now that your saute is done, you can start scooping all this meaty part into your lettuce wraps on top of the tomatoes. I basically just take half of this and put it into three lettuce wraps because that's one serving. All this extra you can set aside for your partner or eat it yourself like me. And ta-da! There's your nicely, easily made lettuce wraps, guys. You did such a good job. And now for the truth. Round one of these suckers up. There's no classy way to do this, just one. Delicious, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little, you know, get together like that. Join me in your PJs on a lazy afternoon. Let us wrap tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments as always. I'll get back to y'all as soon as possible. Now to the macros. So for one serving, it's going to be 206 calories, 21.9 grams carbs, 1.4 grams of fat, and a whopping 28.9 grams of protein. Get you some. These are the added macros to where you're gonna be getting 295 cows, 27.6 grams of carbs, only 2.2 grams of fat, and a whopping 44.3 grams of protein, baby. Great job. Y'all enjoyed this. Have an enjoyable lunch, dinner, who knows, maybe you're eating this for breakfast. I'm not going to judge you, whatever. And thank you guys. Check you out next time. Excuse me while I get one more delicious bite in. I love these. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. 